I've just dropped my bags at the hotel. Um, I can't check in yet because they, they're still getting the room ready. So I'm just going to have a walk around. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's so hot. I didn't think it'd be this hot. It's like a real humid heat. Literally, I've been I've been in this, you know, out for about I don't know 10 minutes and I'm sweating already. It's just like I can't believe the difference in the weather. It's an incredible place from what I've seen already. They've got like these trees that are like giant bonsai. They're amazing. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna have a little walk round. But it's just really hot. Um, there's some incredible buildings around anyway. Anyway, I'll have a little walk around. I'll check into the hotel a bit later and then I'll have a walk around tonight, get some food. I'm absolutely exhausted. It was a really long flight, 13 hours. Um, I didn't really sleep on the flight. I didn't sleep the night before because I woke up at one o'clock in the morning. I didn't really get back to sleep. So I'm gonna try and last until this evening, if I can. I had a couple of these really strong coffees at the airport. It's the strongest coffee I've ever ha ever had. It was like ridiculous. And that seems to have woke me up a little bit. Um, so yeah, so I'll be okay until this evening. I'll get a good sleep. And then I've got a couple of days then to have a look around. I tell you what, it's bloody ridiculous this is. Look at this. Oh, wrong way. Do you know what I mean? And I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I've travelled from Digbeth coach station to this. And it's just, just a little bit of a contrast. I mean, I love Birmingham, don't get me wrong, but when you see somewhere like this, it's um, it just blows your mind, really. I must say, I really like it in Singapore. Not bad, eh? <laughs> that is lovely. That spray from that big, big white thing. Here's a little baby version. It's cute, isn't it? Anyway, I think I'm just going to go and get blackout drunk now. <laughs> hey! A lot of people here have actually got umbrellas. I think I'll have to get myself an umbrella. My shiny head. Do you know what I mean? The thing that I find really impressive about this place is that the mix of greenery and, and architecture. It's like phenomenal. I'm not sure if these images will do it justice, but I'm a big lover of trees anyway, and there's some amazing trees here. Um, and some amazing architecture, just incredible. I'll have to learn more about it so I can give you some some more, you know, useful insights as, as opposed to me just taking photographs and waffling on. So you're getting a bit more value, you know what I mean? It's value that you want, isn't it? I know, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna show off now. This is Anderson's Bridge. And this was erected in the year 1909 at the joint expense of the government of the Straits Settlement and the Municipal Commissioners of the Town of Singapore. Sir John Anderson, CCMC. You see? I'm very knowledgeable. Eh? Eh? Do you want to see some big balls? You could do some creative photography around here. I'm not sure what they mean. Um, I'll have to find out. But they're very cool. I see enough of balls. I've had to sit down because I'm just like. I'm exhausted. I've only been walking around for about, I don't know, an hour and a half at the, at the most. And I'm literally, I don't know if you can see this, I'm like, literally, ringing wet. 
It's like this heat. I've never experienced a heat like this before. A humid heat. It's like, honestly, it's like walking into a sauna. A fucking hot sauna. It's like, it's crazy. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. You little doggy there. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to. Uh, there's an air-conditioned um, shopping mall just back there with the costas in. I've just been in there just to go to the toilet and not to stay in there for a little bit. But I couldn't go into costas. I was gonna go and do some work on my laptop, but I couldn't sit in there because just like a tramp. I'm just like soaking wet. They've all got like you know business people with suits on. So I've just come to sit outside. And actually, there is a bit of a breeze here, which is nice. Across the, across the river. So I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. I'm just waiting for my uh, my hotel to, to let me book in. They've let me put my bag in, but they're getting the room, they're still getting the room ready apparently. So hopefully that's not gonna be too long because I'm literally, I just need a shower, man. I just need to like, just lie down basically in a cold room. Um, I think I've probably done a bit too much today, but um, anyway. I need a cold shower. See you on the next video. Just notice behind me, these little doggies have got something. Should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look. What you got there? Hello, little doggy. Little doggy. Where are you, doggy? Where are you doing there, doggy? Doggy. You carry on. This is um, a Singaporean crow I think by the look of it. What are you bugger? What you got there look? They're hand wipes. No they're not, they're nuts. Hello doggy. <laughs> He's not giving them up, I tell you. And I'm not gonna fight him for them. 